Hello again. Last week happened. This week's going to happen. We're going to do it together. You and I. With some GeoGuessr. How are we doing? A couple of things I got to do. House cleaning. You'll have to excuse me. As I have to say this stuff because... Um, it affects what will be up on the channel this week. So... Elgato absolutely refuses to work. And we were unable to record any Uncharted for this week. So Evo took it back to his house and he's going to futz with it. And if he can actually figure out what's wrong with it, we'll carry on afterwards. But this week we had to do something else. And it's... I'm going to leave this short rant of old man complaints about technology real short this time. Just so I can say that... I don't understand why it stopped working. I followed all the steps, even all the other troubleshooting stuff. Everything always comes up to that HDTP thing. And it's like, no, it's not that. Well, did you try disconnecting, reconnecting? Yes. Did you try turning off the program? Yes. Did you uninstall and reinstall? It's like, that seems to be the dumbest reason to fix it. And nope, didn't work. So, golf course, I think... Nope, Camp Gleagle. This feels like the southeast. I'm just going to say it now. I just don't know. I haven't seen any signage anywhere. Potentially a flag somewhere? No. Anyway. So, we, we have some stuff in the interim that I did for this week. But, yeah. Uh, that's housekeeping. Um for this week and uh let's get into the guessing of where we are geo lo locative the baptist church baptist i feel again is a southeast america thing i'm gonna click like here i could be getting all of my assumptions 100 percent wrong as i do quite a bit in this game but i want to thank i don't have it actually on my screen anywhere, but someone was kind enough to actually explain some differences between all the Nor Nor Norse Scandinavian countries. And granted, there's some nuance there, and I don't completely understand everything, but like certain symbols are only with certain, like out of the five, it seems that just from looking over that and still trying to internalize everything you told me that. Like, one symbol that you can see on a letter can be used 60% of the languages, and other ones can't, so it's just a matter of getting the Venn diagram out and figuring out, okay, I see this symbol and this symbol and this symbol, where's it going? My god, why is this road not showing me anything? At all. This is, this is frustrating. This is just a strip of road that has no signage. Nothing. I'm kind of mad that nothing's on here. And I'm about to hit home and go the other... Okay, finally. I was about to... Oh, it's just a camping sign. God damn it. I mean, yes, I know it's... Taco lean. I don't have any tacos. Now I feel like... Okay, we're hitting home. We're going the other way. Signage. Here we go. That just said campground again. This is Old Corral 601. I do not know. Off the top. Oh, here we go. Mississippi. Okay. I was completely off. Let me get a drink. Four stars because I didn't think objectively. God fucking. Every time. I almost feel like it should be like, nope. Restarting until I get a clean run without any of these in it, but nope, can't do it. Also, the mic may be a little bit weird for this video just because... Uh, now, it's my turn to complain about a Windows 10 update. And maybe a suggestion for future updates for GeoGet... GeoGet for Windows. Um, We had... I went, we were starting to record after the uh, Uncharted Elgato thing just refused to work, so 
plug the mic in, mic's not working. Like, okay, what the fuck's happening? Go through the troubleshoot, okay, yeah, it's connected, it's identifying, it's not picking up sound anywhere whatsoever. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, what if we uninstall all the drivers for the microphone, and then install it again? I don't know where this is. Alright, let's give that a shot. Nope, didn't work. So, sitting, having to do like that trace back your steps over the past couple of days if you're trying to, if you lost the thing and you're trying to find out where it is. So, I was like, okay. It worked on Wednesday when I recorded God of War, which... Okay. Clarkton. Chad Boozen? What the fuck is this? Just annoyed. Because, like... This quality is shit for these photos, and I'm not I'm not happy. They're getting a little better now. That's the American flag, that's not the state flag. But plug my in, uninstall, reinstall, do all of that. All that garbage. Nothing worked. Trace back the steps, worked on Wednesday, God of War. And again, this week there will be no God of War because I'm hiking on Saturday. And I got to prep myself for the hike with a bit of High impact walking or whatever the fuck I want to call it, doesn't matter, but Ooh. That was I knew that was gonna happen, it was too far. I got a minute and I just I don't know where this is. And I keep stopping that stupid microphone thing. But anyway, it was like, oh there was a Windows update on Wednesday or Friday uh Thursday night. So I Google Windows ten update May whatever microphones broken and of course the most, the latest Windows update just um, destroyed all the mic settings that you had on your phone, phone on your computer, and just defaulted them to microphone never work ever. You have to go in and manually turn it on. Now I'm okay with Windows updates, fine. Yeah, I know that they have a bad reputation. They're starting to earn it just with me and the experience I've had with it, but they could. At least, when they download it and they put it on your computer, be like, hey, these are the things that changed. If you want certain things changed back, here is the list of things. Or, what it could do is, hey, your defaults were this before, or you had a computer set to this before we did the updates. Any of these things you like to keep the way they were? And then you'd be, yes, no, yes. But no, it's just like, we updated your computer, pray we don't do it any further. Oh, something didn't work? Good luck finding it. Just Google crowdsource the answer. You're just not doing yourself any favors, uh, Windows, with these updates. and Like, garnering favor for many of your... I don't want to say slave-bound. I, I still have no fucking idea where this is. I am so annoyed. I'm going to click. I'm leaving it where it is. South Carolina. No stars. Fuck this game. Alright. Thank you, higher quality European potentially public footpath in England. Alright. That's all I really Chisworth, huh? A little cheeky name. See, I need to hear somebody say something in British, and then I'm like, oh, that's what it sounds like. I'll try to imitate that for five words, and then realize, okay, I need to hear it again for me to actually... Moorfield Arms Free House. Oh, that doesn't seem like it's a smart idea to put your house up for free. <laughs> Marston. Car Park. Silly English in your... It's a parking lot, not a car park. Parks are where you go to be with nature. Your car just sits in a lot. Oh, this is this is a problem. Unless we're both going the same way. These one lane roads. Well kept though, I'll give you that. This looks fancy. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from here. We'll just, uh, hopefully get near a road of something, some kind. Little Mill Inn and Restaurant. Okay. I would do countries. 
not in like North America that I'm aware of have like can you look at this and then understand okay we're here like uh nice carriageway no turning area like you can just see that pairing of numbers and know that like okay it's five here and then six here okay we're in this country I know that in the U.S. you've got the area code, which is three, and then it's another three set of numbers, and then it's four. So I'm like, oh, that's a, at least North American number, because I know Canada does the same thing, too. Whoa, we're getting way off the path. Here we go. Finally, signage. Brummel Hall, Lime Park, Etherow Country Park. Is this Ireland? I don't know. And you, this little signage here might help. That little signage does not help. Here we go. All right. Thornset, no throughs. Groweth, Chisworth. No, that doesn't help me. Like, ever since that last set of videos where I had uh, that Lithu Lithuanian and Estonian ones were just... Uh, Throwing off everything I assumed. Okay, I see this picture. We're in this part of the country, and th these three are just kind of like, kind of like, throwing me for a loop now. And I'm just everything. My faith in myself and knowing where we are is shaken. And this score so far is just god friggin' awful. Why did I stop myself from saying fucking? I don't know. But sometimes I just didn't feel like saying it. That's the freedom of being an adult. It was a dumb thing to say. Gas coin, Hellman, toilet. View by appointment? Why do we gotta have an appointment to look at a toilet? Where in England is this quaint little village? If you turn out to be Ireland, I'm going to be upset. Also a lot, well, they're blurring out the license plate, so I can't tell. I don't... I haven't understood European license plates either. Five stars for a good photo. Like, looking at them... See if I can actually... This is probably Europe somewhere as well. Kind of like the phone number thing. They blur it out where you got like a group of them and then another cluster and then another cluster. is like... London Gford on the A3. Okay, we got two US and two England. All right. Look for the A3. It's near London. At least. The A3. Noise. A3 is, uh, there's Guilford. So I'm assuming that's what they mean when they go Guilford. So I'm sticking with that right now. Until I can't. Whoa, okay, we just, I wish I had a back button. What if I click over there? Okay. We've got... Ooh, ooh, we've got local... Local issues. Wait, wait, wait. I need to see this sign behind it. Come on, come on. If it's what I think it is. The Plow at Effingham. Thank you, English. That is the cutest English thing I've seen. And I always like these little signs. They're like, 21 new houses here. Stop the greedy developers. Say no to new town in this green belt. In the Wisley Action Group. We near Wisley? Is there a Wisley? I don't know. No, I don't see any Wisley. All right, let's see where we are on this highway. If I there, There's a sign right there. There's a sign right here. Hubcap. All right, Heathrow. Chedsey, Gatewick, and Leatherhead. That sounds like an insult. London A3 and Esther A307. Where's Heathrow? Why aren't you... You're like one of the biggest airports, and you're just... You don't even show up here. Where's Chedsey? I don't see... Gatwick? Where's Guilford? What if we go back a bit? No, it's got to be near... Is that like 10 miles? Oh, it's the M25. Oh, M25. Does connect right there. 
I'm going to say we're near Occam. I'm going to call it Occam, and you could say it's Oxham. So I've, I've been to Massachusetts. I've seen how you uh, pronounce your silly English words. If you don't know what I mean, there's a place called Worcester in Massachusetts, which I'm pretty sure, like most things in Massachusetts, got its... Um, Either the words for things either come from the local natives that were there, or it's some old English word. And Worcester is spelled W... I'm going to get this wrong, but when you look at it, it should say Worcester. But no, it's Worcester. It's just because English is weird. Like, if you look at the way they said J... Like, they spelled jail back in the old times. It was spelled G-A-O-L. And it's kind of like... You sit there and be like, well, if I sit dumb, it makes sense. Like, gal. If you if you just made your G's like, let me go forward. Oh, this, this truck's in the way. M23, M20, M11. Where's the M25? Where's the M23? I feel I've got a... Oh, there's the M23. So that's to the M23. I don't want that. I think I've got it. I think we're there. If we're the, we're one of those two. Yep. We were real close. Five stars. All right. This is either Australia, America, or Mexico. I need a car. Well, that says Blackwater Drain. Oh, I was going to say, if that said like Black Hatter, like that feels like an English word. These are some funny looking... Well, I guess that's how you do your mail there. I need a car. I need to see a, another vehicle so I can actually look at it and know. Okay, here we go. You are on the right side of the car. I mean both versions of right. We have it right over here. I almost feel like I need to defend our system of measurement, but no. You can laugh at Fahrenheit and Celsius all you want, but guess what? They eventually meet up. So if you think it's still dumb, you kind of share the same, well, non-Americans, if you're doing it, I think it's Imperial, right? Everything's by tens, which makes sense, but Fahrenheit and Celsius, they do match up. I think it's around 40 below. They eventually become the same number. And they could be a contrarian and say, well, I go by Kelvin, and then everyone will just slap you. I mean, granted, that's what they use pretty much in space, and when they consider what absolute zero is, they just zero degrees Kelvin, I believe. Scientists, please clear me up on that. Or anybody who's willing to Google, because, number one, I'm stuck here. Guessing where we are in the world. Although I've nailed it to, I believe, a section of North America. We are near the end of a highway. If I can actually get there in time, I need to see another mile marker, and it'll know... I'm going the right way or not. Come on, get me farther down the road. And also, going through science courses in college and high school, yeah, I'm going the right way. So it's going to take, I don't think I'm going to get there in two minutes before the mileage is done, but we'll see. All of my high school teachers and then college professors, like, they were all using the Imperial method. I think I'm saying the right one, and now that I keep double-guessing myself, am I actually saying the wrong word for what the... Everything's by tens? I'm pretty sure I'm saying the right one. All right, license plate color. That looks like a New Mexico one, so I'm going to click New Mexico. New Mexico license plates, from the ones I remember, are yellow, and I think the lettering is red. And also, in the center of it, is uh, it's their sun picture that well, the it's a picture image of a sun on their state flag. I think it's from a thing that was the dumbest thing I may have said, or at least vaguely stupid thing I've said. All episode, episode video, whatever, whatever you want to call this, but. That's what you're here for, if not to see me complain about technology, bad image quality, and 
mild inconveniences. Just learn from my mistakes, people. You can do better. I have not found anything except that one said license plate, and I feel I've at least got the state. I don't know where. I'll click. It's not on a highway. It's on a route of some sort. I'll click that one. Just because I don't think I've clicked it before. Come on, get off the screen. Thank you. All right. Here we go. How bad did I get it? Oh, we're near Arabella. I should have known. What made me think that we were next to Mountain Air? Whatever. I got a pretty good score there. Five stars. And uh, other than the worst quality photo in the world, I did pretty well. So I'd like to say that it's not my fault. But then again, it kind of is. You kind of have to accept these things going into this game. Unless GeoGuessr actually goes through and combs however many photos have been taken of the world to find all the crappy ones or send a car back there or Google and be Google do better and then Google will but yeah that's gonna do it for our uh, Monday if you're watching this in the morning um go out there and get them it's uh it's not that bad of a day it'll be over before you know it and if you're watching this at the end of the day I think I was right you'll have to agree Went by pretty fast, because you're here now. Work's all done. But uh, for everyone here, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, do all that stuff. Everyone tells you, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check out the other stuff of the channel. Um, this week, again, there's no Uncharted, because Elgato's a piece of shit. Uh, we got some other fun stuff for this week. Um, also, end of last week, I did a little quick video with a drone that Evo had. Um... I like to do a few more things for that this summer, if weather permitting, and actually having access to the thing. It's pretty fun. Uh, check that out too. But uh, until next time, have a good Monday, and we will see you very soon. Goodbye.